Yes, you are. I oh, have been man. missing you. I miss you, Congratulations on your show. I think you're fantastic. Don't she look great? <laughs> you're doing great. And your ratings are good, so Thank you're, you're so going to do it great. And we're going to get them better now that you're on here on well, this couch. <laughs> Um, and, and congratulations on your new rap career. Well, thank you so much. How did you like my hair? I, I loved your hair. It you was, was rocking that wig, girl. I uh, know. Well, you know, Oprah kind of inspired that. You gave me the wig, and I thought, well, I'll just kind of... Oh, look, look at Oprah! <laughs> <laughs> Except I don't have a hit movie to go with mine. Oh, that's, she you, you a hit all the time. But, so well, you, know, you hit movie or not, you, you got many in your uh, we repertoire. Do. We do. We both love Oprah, but Oprah ain't got nothing on you. Hold it so now. you're doing great. <laughs> Don't get me true. in trouble. She, ga she gave me a coffee cup the first time I was ever on her show, and you gave me one, and it matches my outfit, so I like it better. <laughs> It's black and gold, black and gold. Black and gold, black and gold. Yeah. We are just, uh, I'm just gonna let her keep going with this, because this is good TV right here. <laughs> I'm glad. It's your show. I just wanted to get all my licks in there. So tell me how your, your dancing skills have improved since Joyful Noise. Oh, my Lord. Did you have to bring that up? You know, it was so it was funny. So Did any of you fun. see that movie? Yeah. Oh, oh, my so God. One of the 15 that saw that, right? <laughs> It, we had so know, much right? fun. It wasn't a real big hit, but it was a big hit with us. Yes, it, was it was a joyful, yes, was. joyful time. But they can dance. I don't hip and I don't hop and I don't dance. <laughs> but she was so kind and so good. She would just get me off in the corner because I was trying to do all my stuff. And I'm just like that old white trash, you know. So I'll be coming in around. I just can't get on the beat. And it was like she was saying, you know, she said, well, if I could write something like you, I wouldn't be worrying about my dancing. Okay, so just go out there and so, own it. it. I'll tell you, it was our favorite part. It was, but she tried to help me. She kept. Then when I would get it doing okay, she'd say, oh, Beyonce. <laughs> but I knew she meant Beyonce saving, is what she meant. <laughs> but anyway, she was very kind to me, very good, and, the, and all that whole gang was, was fun, but it didn't help me dance. No, I, I'm, I'm sorry. You know, we can't do everything, Dolly. I mean, you do everything. You know, before, when we started that movie, by the time I had a conversation with Dolly, she already had at least five to seven songs written for the movie. <laughs> this is before we even knew for sure, but she decided to do the movie. So I'm like, this is my first conversation with you, and, and I'm getting all these songs. I don't know how you do that. Well, that's what I do. You I just don't dance. <laughs> Since is that all how that you time, do that? you spend dancing, I spend writing songs. <laughs> Well, you write songs great, too. No, but actually, when not, we did the like, movie, like that was done. part of the deal that I would write some of the songs. And mm -hmm. I, I was very honored that I got to do that. And that was truly a joy. I thought but you were great out, in that and movie. And they were gorgeous. And now you write, and you, you have your own, uh, you write your own Broadway musical? Yeah, I am. I'm writing my life story as a musical. So, uh, oh, we'll see how that turns out. <laughs> oh, no, that's going to be great. So, who would play you, though? Well, I think if it's on stage... Who would stage, dare play you, I well, should I say? Think, I think Kristen Chenoweth would be great, don't you? Kristen Chenoweth she's is amazing. She's stage, but she's great. And we're little, you know, we're tiny yeah. little, little people with big, big. big voices. Yeah. Big voices. We're little, but we're loud. <laughs> That's true. So when do you write? I heard you write at interesting times. Well, actually, I write... And why am I saying times? The, you're making me times? more southern. Because you're writing right. more interesting times. <laughs> That happens, but actually, <laughs> I, I don't require a lot of sleep, and everybody kind of knows that about me. So I write in the wee hours of the morning, my best times. But I can write if I have to. But my favorite time is to get up when everything is quiet, and I feel like I've kind of got a, a direct channel, and I say, well, give me some stuff, Lord. Just send it on right. down here. So I just get out and start writing. So that's actually a very good time for me. We are wisdom is what I call it. We are my... wisdom. <laughs> I like it. So what, do you remember the first song you ever wrote? Well, the first song I ever wrote, uh, I didn't write it. I just made it up, and my mama wrote it down. Oh. I didn't remember it till years later, but it was about a little cob doll that, that I had uh, that mama had uh, made a little dress for out of the corn shucks because we used to grow our own corn, and daddy mm -hmm. would take it to the mill. So we had all these cobs where we'd have to take all the corn up. So we made homemade toys. So I had this little doll, and I loved her, and her name was Tasseltop. Mama put the corn silk back on her. So mm -hmm. I had wrote this song. And uh, I remembered it when Mom said, and she said, you sing this little song. Little tiny tassel top, you're the only friend I got. Big brown eyes and corn silk hair, how you make me smile. Little tiny tassel top, I love you an awful lot. Hope you never go away, I want you to stay. Yeah. <laughs> wow.
for a five-year-old, but I guess after that. But I, my people are all very musical. It, is it me, and, or do y'all want a little tiny tassel top doll? Uh, yeah. I, I think they even sell some at Dollywood. I'll have to send you one. Yes, you I'll do. And you know I got to ride that roller coaster. Oh, did you ride that good I need for to, you? I need to do that. Oh, you, I thought you said you did ride it. Well, I'm waiting say, for the free passes that well, you're I'm supposed to send me. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Before you went on tour after hey, the movie and just I didn't say free. You, you got money. Membership you got supposed money. to have privileges. <laughs> hey, don't mess with me. I'm the queen of Dollywood. No, but I'll get you in. Seriously, you've got, you've got to come down there and ride the rides, and I'll get you a tiny tassel top doll and some funnel cakes and all sorts of things. That's, we all, have that's there. what it's all about. Yeah, that's roller coasters and it's meeting and just having a good old time. Yeah. So now, listen, you've had so much success. You've written over 3,000 songs, sold over 100 million albums. You won eight Grammys. God knows how many you've been nominated for. You seem to, for me, watching you growing up, especially being a yeah, very, yeah, a well, very, she, a very situated like woman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still reaching. But, but no, I, I watched you so much, as, as, many, as everyone has, you know? As well, everyone I've been has. around a long time. But, but you exude this confidence and this, this, this joy, and I'm just wondering, do you ever experience self-doubt? Oh, sure, everybody does. People always say, are you always happy? I said, well, Lord, no. Who would want somebody always happy? That would not be a, a complete human being. You'd right. be very shallow, you mm -hmm. know, with that. But no, I am one of those people that I just, well, I was born with a happy heart, and I, and yes. I have a good attitude, and I work at it. You've yes. got to work at being happy, yes, just do. like you work at being miserable, and some people are real good at that. Real good. So, yeah, there are times I don't feel good. There are, I have my disappointments, I have my hurts, and I hurt all over. Uh, I can't do anything just a little, like mm -hmm. I say. If I hurt, I hurt all the way through. Mm. If I eat, I want to eat the whole thing. You know, it's like <laughs> I'm just one of those teetotalers. But, yeah, I've had my, uh, my times, and I still do. But I try to pray about that. Mm -hmm. I try to get myself together and say, well, you're going to have to get up uh, and get on with it or just go ahead and get on out. And I think, no, I ain't ready to do that. <laughs> no, uh, so I think I better just get on with it. So, <laughs> but I right. pray a lot. I have a good spiritual base. I have good friends. That's I have a good right. family. So that helps a lot.